There was more sawdust flying at the Trade Center this past weekend than you could shake a stick at. Speaking of a stick, that's actually what's happening here. Take a stick of wood, any size, put it on a lathe, and turn it into something. Could be anything. It was the 36th Annual American Association of Wood Turners Symposium. More than a thousand makers from all over the world gathering here, learning, sharing, selling, and celebrating the craft of wood turning. Wood turning can be enjoyed by anyone from eight to 108. Um, big or small, um, you can make things that are complicated or, or very simple, uh, from bowls to pens to chair legs to sculptural ob objects. Wood turning is a craft that dates back thousands of years. By turning and carving, you can make a slew of things you normally would not associate with wood turning. Witness some of the items that were up for sale. The cowboy hat is a prime example. That takes a lot of skill. But you can only reach that level of marksmanship if you have the right mindset. It could be hard if you don't enjoy it. it and wood turning is, is, a, is a, fun, a fun hobby to do. And it's like anything else. If you're having fun, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna get better at it. This convention featured a number of educational sessions, plus a lot of demonstrations, with a good number of specialized methods of artwork. It's all good for these wood turners because it's a big part of their being. A lot of people say that they, they reach a certain level of almost zen-like uh, kind of uh, feelings without, you know, and, and they, it's a calming influence. It's, it's something that where they can create and, and, and have solitude in it's such a busy life. There is a passion and, and uh, I was telling somebody earlier, this is a, uh, a very a good experience to be a part of and it's a um, very gratifying hobby to get into. Because of the pandemic, this was the AAW's first live convention since 2019. For these wood turners, it was a glorious return. From downtown Chattanooga, Dave Staley, News 12.